You guys see how the ground is like morphing? It's very subtle. Say, where are you? The signal's getting stronger. Nagase's around here somewhere. Cover me. Where are you, Nagase? Spotted her. This is Sea Goblin. More dog. Have you found her? Yeah. Good job. You have good eyes. We'll move in for the rescue. While we're on our way, eliminate those enemy players for us. We need to make sure this place is safe. Bastards, I'm not letting you near that copter. Don't worry. We'll take your princess back to base safely. Fine. Shit, Sea Goblin. Gotcha. I think so. You guys are gonna have to try a little harder. Missed. That was a wild shot on my end. Seed Goblin. trying to aim at me. Say, Blaze, I think that song would be perfect for a time like this, you know? Hmm, no. Really? Didn't you say the 
<laughs> there we go again. There's that little trick. That little trick you guys probably didn't know about. Oh, oh you, you, you sly uh, Project Aces. Oh, that was a nice shot right there. Those two getting shot and just going right past me. <laughs> no, that was good. That was good. Our combat That's rank, baby. Captain Nagase was a success. We're having a physician check on her condition right now. Required special color aircraft. <laughs> when the rescue team found her, she was holding captive a group of soldiers who were sent in to capture her. Behind her was the helicopter crew that crashed while trying to rescue her. She had saved them, treated their wounds, and hid them in a safe place. I needed to rethink my image of her after this, after seeing her amazing toughness and tenacity. She even managed to obtain a little information from the soldiers she captured. It seems the people of Yuktabania were also beginning to have doubts about their leaders in the current war. And word of Nagase's squadron was getting around, as the force that sunk two of their most powerful submarines. The Yuk army soldiers had nicknamed them the demons of Raz Gris. E. She was obviously very proud of that when she <coughs> told me about it later. Perhaps her pride was for Captain Bartlett, the man who had trained them. Or maybe it was for her current captain. However, nobody in the upper echelons of her own army was proud of them. Bartlett was still missing, and that made his old trainees the subject of suspicion and criticism. Yeah, let's have at it. What? What do you mean it's our turn to choose? <laughs> I choose heads. I know I'm gonna get heads. Oh, how did I get tails? I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> Desert lightning, Jalachi Desert. This is it, people. Our ground forces will engage in a decisive battle with the enemy's main force in the Jalachi Desert. It'll be an enormous battle. If our army wins this showdown of military might, we'll be just a hair away from total victory. You'll be responsible for neutralizing the enemy forces that are blocking our army's advance on the left flank of the front lines. OCS relying on you, people. Don't let us down. This mission will be referred to as Operation Desert Blitz. Yuktabania has an airfield in the western region of the Jalachi Desert and an oil facility protected by defense positions in the southern part of the desert. These two locations are the target of this operation. The second tank battalion will handle the airstrip, while the third tank battalion will capture the oil facility. Your mission is to cover both of the ground forces as they advance. This operation will unfold across the southern region of the Jalachi Desert but we expect fierce enemy resistance within the entire area. It's been reported that several enemy tank platoons have taken up positions around the airstrip, one of your mission targets. You'll be up against a large number of enemy forces, so choose your opponents carefully. Don't try to take on all of them. Destroying a certain number of enemy forces within your allotted time on station will be considered successful completion of the mission. Operation Desert Blitz commences today at 10.50 hours. Alright, lots of targets. Lots of ground targets. So, what can I get myself? Now I'm bringing some high level planes down. Not, not high, high, high end, but, you know, close enough. Uh, that's... Hmm... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm bringing that 15s. Yeah, I'm bringing that 15s. Who needs Raptors? Make 1.44. You know, I, I, have I tried the FAE bomb? I don't think I have. I think I have, but I can't, don't even fucking remember. But no, I'm not bringing the FAE bomb. 
Not now. Let's have fun. Captain, please choose my plane. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? Right. Hmm, air ground. I want you guys to carry. Captain, which good. plane should I use? Yeah, launching with this formation then? I'd rather them use uh things that can, you know, hit the ground rather than them trying to use dispersal weapons. Dog, launch. All right. Man, this is ridiculous. I can't believe they chose our next mission with a damn coin again. This is Thunderhead. Captain Devonport, how many times do I have to tell you to cut the chatter? Thunderhead, this is Roz. <laughs> All right, let's hit these guys hard, fast. That way we can just keep here. Me, man, that was a tall, that was a sharp ass uh, climb. Let's go. 
help these guys over here first, and then come back. Tanks are coming out. 